All right, now item number 22, Yuba City Water Regulations Ordinance <coughs> Update. Welcome back, Ben. <clears throat> All right, so um, the item before you is in regards to updating the Yuba City Water Regulation Ordinance. And so this is the second reading. And with that, um, the item before you is to the final adoption of the ordinance related to Title VI, Chapter Six, known as Yuba City Water Regulations. Last update in 2016 regarding drought and rate increases. The proposed update will initi was originally initiated by Senate Bill 998, which is in regards to due process and notice, updating our notices parameters. <clears throat> and so that's what um, what started the initiated the update. But when we um, initiate the, the update, we took the opportunity to um, update a few other areas. And so, so with that, we there's four four main areas SB 998 state requirements that um, really have to do with the notice and that due process if if we're going to shut water off. Water connection financing. Um, there's an added language in there that talk about financing connection and extension fees for the 10 year period. Um, and then the, um, the logistics on how we set that agreement up and the assessment up. Number three is the water leak adjustment. Basically it, it gives finance that tool that if there's an unknown break within the first three months underneath a driveway, there's an opportunity for the property owner to repair that leak, show proof of it, and then receive a credit with a maximum cap of $500 on their water bill. Um, and then lastly, emergency water restrictions, which is <clears throat> taking out the specific language that we have in there now and updating it so it, it matches um, it matches our other planning documents and state codes. And so with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions and make the recommendation to adopt an ordinance amending Yuba City Municipal Code Title VI, Chapter Six, Yuba City Water Regulations and waive the second reading. Thank you. Any public comment on the item? All right. Through the mayor and to Mr. Moody, uh, and I do apologize, I would have probably <clears throat> preferred to ask, ask this question, but uh, regular, regular work got in the way. So um, one, of the, one of the questions I have is, property owners are sometimes not notified of the delinquency of their tenants. Uh, and so at the time the tenant moves out, the property owner is likely unaware if the tenant has been delinquent with the bill. With this, with these, or with this new state law, et cetera, is there any consideration, or what's the city going to do to try to make sure that you know property owner isn't saddled with a with a huge bill that they were unaware because the tenant didn't pay the bill? So, so I'm going to lean on Robin a little bit, but I, but I know that we have some processes in place about the owners being able to sign up for dual notice. Thank you, Ben. We do have a process where owners can set up um, a dual notification where we'll send them the bills as well. So they receive a copy of it. Um, I'm aware of a situation recently where that didn't happen. So in strategizing, it, it wasn't that we didn't send it. We didn't have the owner's information to send it. Um, so now staff has put into process a, a letter that's going to go out in January to all tenant occupied locations, informing the owners of those properties that they could be held responsible, just so that there's an awareness out there, knowing that um, there could be a situation such as what happened recently where the landowner did not know that they were responsible. We wanna make sure we're being fair to all property owners. Perfect, I, I know that that will help. As long as, I guess that's gonna be an undertaking though to determine who's the tenant or who are the property owners. It's something staff is working on, yes. Okay, appreciate the initiative. All right, looks like we're just down to needing a motion. Whose turn is it? Through the mayor. There you go. All right, I move to adopt an ordinance amending the Yuba City uh, Municipal Code Title VI, Chapter Six, Yuba City Water Regulations, and waive the second reading. Second. All right, first and second, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous, thank you very much. 